Hello guys, this is CRG, turn up your game. The difference between a mediocre player and a really good one in score match is made by defending. And if you want to get better at defending, this is the only video you need to see. Let's go. Guys, don't forget that every Thursday we will be live on YouTube. You will get the chance to play Rumble Stars with us and win gems. And we will also stream matches from competitions from all around the world. Check our YouTube channel to see the future live events. And subscribe to CRG to be notified when we will go live. Okay guys, so this is how it's going to work. First I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the formation that I've been using in the last weeks and which worked very well for me, is the one that you see right here, right now. And then we will look together through some uh, footage of some matches in which I will tell you exactly what my thinking process was and exactly how to defend better in score match. So, this is the formation, as I said, it's a classic 4-2-1-3. I have the classic uh, wingers, two intruders that I really, really enjoy. I have the prowler in the middle and the main reason why I use the prowler right now is that he really really shoots from every position that he gets into and uh, basically his shooting is perfect close to perfect and then I'm using the hammer as a central attacking midfielder because of his very long passes and uh, of course at corners he's right there to uh, win me some games and then the most important aspect I would say in this formation uh, from defending point of view are the engine and the protector, the, the two central defending midfielders, then the explorers and then the voyager in defense. Guys, if you don't have the voyager unlocked yet, you can use an intruder in defense or you can use a speedster in defense. But mind me, if you have a speedster and not a voyager in defense, don't pass the ball to it. Only, only, only if you really have to because the speedster will usually try to dribble the ball and most of the times he will lose the ball. So guys, why am I saying that the central defending midfielders, so the engine and the protector are very important, is that you will mainly defend with those two guys. So guys, let's get going, let, let us together watch some games and then talk about how to defend and how to improve your defending. Okay, let's go. And let's start with the first match. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the first match was against Ismail. And um, yeah, we will focus on the defending part of the of the game. Okay, so the game starts with a handshake. This is very um, nice for from both players. But now I really trust my prowler. Unfortunately, he was tackled, but my hammer is there, and I'm having one nil. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's see now how to defend. First of all, this is tip number one. If your opponent starts the game, just tap to your main striker. In this case, is Kelleher the Prowler because you would like your strikers to run and uh, try to get possession of the ball as soon as possible. We will see here that now my opponent will try to pass and according to where he passes I will just choose another player to pressure or not. In this case I would like my Prowler to keep uh, pressing the ball because he is right there in the middle of these two players that are passing the ball around. And now you just wait to see where your opponent will pass the ball and then choose, as, as I said, a player accordingly. Now you see that we choose the engine here because I don't want my explorer to get out of his position and try to intercept the ball. Let's see now what my en engine does here. So you can see now I don't choose another player and you can see that my explorer has a player that he is marking so he's really close to my opposing the, the opposing team's striker and you can see that all the defending players have a player, uh, an opposing player in marking. So you don't want to take them from th that position because then one striker will remain unmarked and this is something that you don't want to do. Okay, so now let's see what my uh, opponent will do and now normally I would switch but in this case, I see that my um, explorer has uh, a striker in possession. This guy here doesn't is not a really big threat to me because he has a guard next to him. And I keep my uh, engine chosen for uh, for a tackle. And you can easily see that my engine does a really good tackle. And now my engine will pass the ball to the intruder. Yeah, my opponent is amazed here, but unfortunately my pass was not really good. So now again, I choose my engine here. I choose my engine here because I know my intruder has no chance of tackling the ball and my hammer is very, very, very far from that position. Okay, so even if you, I see that my engine doesn't stand a chance, I still keep him selected because I don't want, I simply don't want any other of my players to change their position. Okay, so even now I keep my engine selected and now that I see that my opponent is re really clear on the sides, I will choose my fastest um, defender, which is the explorer, to try and tackle, even though I know that my um, his, this player right here will remain unmarked. And you will see that now my uh, his explorer will try to pass 
and I uncheck the Explorer, my Explorer, because I don't know where this Explorer will pass the ball, but if it's not going to be to this guy, I don't want my Explorer to uh, change position. So I unselect him, and now let's see what I do. I uh, change the, um, the selected player to this guard, who is the, um, the defender who usually marks this guy over here. Okay, so let's see now what happens. As far as soon as my this producer changes the the play, so passes again to this explorer right here, I switch my selection from the guard to my engine because I want the guard to remain with this player to mark this player uh, from now on, and I would like my engine to go and pressure the ball. Okay, so this is what I'm doing, and now my engine is really really close to getting a nice tackle, and now this is really important. So I see that this guy is here has the ball, and now I have to face. Um, to face a threat, a really big threat, and I choose to um, take this guard here and try to pressure because I see that this player here is not as big of a threat because he's going on the sides. Okay, so unfortunately for me, the producer is very fast, and now I'm uh, I can't do anything but wait for my opponent to strike. Fortunately enough, I was uh, I was lucky; he didn't manage to to score here. And now Romalo is really fast, so I'm doing something interesting here, passing the ball to the Voyager because the Voyager usually doesn't dribble, and now passing the ball to the Hammer for his long passes and the hammer will try to pass to the intruder who is fast enough and will get first to this ball. Okay, now let's see what Kovalchuk will do with the ball here. Usually I will have a prowler in uh, in attack and this is the case here. So the prowler, as you can see, is a really good finisher and it's 1-0 for me. And let's move forward a little bit to the next match. Now you can see that my opponent will try to, to have an attack on the left side and I will now choose my explorer because there is no other player that has to be marked here in this position. So my explorer will run towards his winger and this is what should happen. And, and uh, if I'm uh, fortunate enough, I will have a tackle but my infil his infiltrators uh, will pass the ball and immediately I will choose my CDM again, my engine. So I will not choose this guard because I want this guard to stay here, but I will choose my engine to create superiority in defense here on this side. If I see that his infiltrator will would have passed the ball all the way on the other side of the field, I would have unmarked this engine, but in this case I will keep this engine marked because my engine will make a successful tackle. Yeah. And now pass the ball to the guards because the guard will uh, pass it as soon as possible and then to the voyager again, uh, to the explorer because yeah, he didn't turn around to, to have the opportunity of passing to the intruder and you can see what Romalo is doing here, uh, making a good um, run and now Jebe is clear on the left side, catches the ball and I think this is 1-0, no unfortunately, not yes, fortunately yes because Kelleher is again there. So it's 1-0 for us, you could see there a very nice defending turning into attack, turning into an attack and again here choosing Jebe on the left side and now I don't want to uh, Romalo to go and uh, try to intercept Bartos because uh, Jebe was close to, to him so every time you have the opportunity to defend with your strikers or with your CAM do it because in this case your other defending so your central defending midfielders and then your defenders will still remain there on keeping their position and as I said earlier create superiority in defense for you and you want that okay so let's see what Bartosz will do here I choose this engine here because I assumed he will make a short pass to, to this CAM here. But if he doesn't do that, I will unselect him as soon as possible. So let's see what happens. Bartos will, will pass the ball here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I was unlucky there because my, my engine uh, did a terrible tackle there. And now let's see what I do. So I have the opportunity to ch check this guard here or to wait and do nothing. And I believe I will do nothing because I don't want my... Uh, strike uh, defenders to get out of their position. So now the prowler will pass the ball to whom? I don't know, but I uh, canceled this sliding tackle because I wanted my um, my voyager to keep his position right now, and I don't want him to get all the way on the left side, right side of the field, because I knew I had an explorer there, and I knew that if my, this guy here would come away and try to attack, having the ball, I would rather have my voyager keep his position and then tackle later. And you can, as you can see now, I unchecked him again. And now this is a really good pass from my opponent, but my explorer was there. Uh, this is a corner, I can't do re a lot about the corner. I applaud my, my um, opponent because he scored with, uh, with Novak. Okay, 
uh, unfortunately for me the hammer gets the ball and this I believe will be 2-1 for my opponent so as you can see guys even if you follow the tips it may happen that you will lose some games because of course it has to make uh, this is a game, this is an arcade game, so even if you, you're doing everything perfect, your opponent can win matches. And as you can see there, my engine has lost the ball in a very weird situation. Okay, but let's move to the next one. So as you could, as you can see here, I'm trying to tackle with Kelleher, with the main striker. And now as I see that the ball uh, will go from his intruder, I'm guessing here, I'm choosing right away the protector who is a central defending midfielder. And let's see what happens. Of course, the ball uh, came in this direction, but not to this guy over here. But um, I was lucky enough that my intruder intercepted the ball. So again, you want to try and defend with your strikers as much as possible. And now, right away, check the central defending midfielders, guys. Okay, so now I've checked uh, the engine. And I want to keep my engine checked, uh, or I mean selected, for a tackle as much as possible. Okay. So now I switch to the hammer because the hammer was in a good situation and I want my defenders to just remain here. And now let's see what the hammer will do. Now I check the guard. Frankly speaking, I don't know why. Because, yeah, I thought the ball will come to this guy over here. And now as soon as the bo uh, this guy um, opts to pass, you will see that I will unselect the guard. Right. Yeah. So I will unselect the guard and choose the other central defending midfielder, the protector. Because the protector has a good opportunity to um, take the ball. Okay, now I'm facing a really tough situation because the guard will pass the ball to this guy over here. I'm pretty sure of it. And now I will have to select one fast um, one fast defender which is the explorer to try and tackle and now as soon as my uh, he, my uh, his, his striker will get close to the box I fastly unselect the explorer because I don't want to concede the penalty okay and now uh, I will have to select one of these two guys unfortunately the speedster will, was better positioned but I can promise you that in case I wouldn't have uh, unchecked the explorer he would have had the penalty Okay, now Cabrera will try to get a fault out of this situation, but fortunately enough the ball got all the way to, to the um, explorer on the, on the other side. And now I see that my strikers are not very well positioned, so I change sides with this long pass. Now to the explorer who finds Jebe really unmarked, and now Jebe will score, of course, because this is what Jebe does. So my explorer was marking this guy here, so I didn't want my explorer to get out of his position, so that's why I, ch I chose, I'm choosing this engine here, okay? So I'm choosing this engine to try and pressure the um, uh, the opponent, and as soon as he changes sides, I'm choosing to my I'm changing to my other CDM, the protector. Okay. Now I'm changing to my guard because this is the player who should have been marked by my guard. Uh, unfortunately for me, the producer tries to 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 play from the first touch, and now my explorer will do a great tackle and will try will get the ball back and now i'm building with the ham with the hammer the hammer is capable of sending long passes and i'm choosing the intruder a short pass this time no a long pass sorry so now i will pass it to my hammer of course and uh this time the commander was close to him so let's try and defend now i'm choosing um yeah but it doesn't really matter what i choose because the my opponent mistook the pass and now the prowler again shooting from every position every situation manages to score and guys this was basically uh, the tutorial we have um, yeah watched together a few matches I really hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, kind of episodes I really hope that you will improve your defending games after watching this video and following the tips in this video guys uh, let me know in the comment down, be down below if you've enjoyed this one and uh, by the way Madeline will soon be back he's now he has some uh, personal things that he has to attend to he's not in the city but uh, yeah he will be back soon and we will do some more score match and uh, Rumble Stars videos. And I can only tell you that in both games, uh, this period right now is really, really, really good. So uh, constant updates and good things are coming to score match and to Rumble Stars both. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and a share. Uh, stay with CRG, and uh, yeah, until next time, see you and bye.